Outlaw, Macho, drive in. Next Hell in a Cell is definitely what people mean, like what we were saying earlier, of having a blow off. Is the whole point of the Triple H versus Shawn Michaels Hell in a Cell was to end the rivalry that had been going on for two years. Um, and honestly, it, this is another underrated match. Um, it has, it's a long ass match. 47 um, minutes. It's <laughs> 47 yeah. minutes. It's two best friends who, let's face it, are, are a bit Better of man. egotists who are just like, hey, we're going to go out there and we are going to show the world what we can do inside of a cell. And it, they might have overdone it a bit, but honestly, it's yeah, it's it's an awesome yeah. match right here. Um, but both these guys, yet again during that time period, were honestly both on top of their game. Triple H was a great heel in um, the Ruthless Aggression era, especially this point where it wasn't with the title. Shawn Michaels was a great face. Um, it was a perfect culmination to a two-year rivalry. Um, and you have Triple H, who's basically at this time the guy who's kind of the face of Hell in a Cell, facing the guy who he accompanied to the ring during the original Hell in a Cell. There's lots of storytelling elements in it for build-up and in the actual match itself. Another underrated uh, Hell in a Cell, honestly. It was, yeah. and it I was, love them two guys. Them. It was. It's The problem is it came at the wrong time because I think by the time 2000 world around we had just seen too mm. much Shawn michaels versus triple h it's yeah it's basically mm. and yeah honestly if you watch it now it's an amazing match but if you watched it then it was like basically the highlights of their of all, all their previous matches their matches by itself yeah it's yeah they did have that armageddon match also yeah um the um, yeah to the the, the three the stages yeah, of hell match yeah three stages of hell yeah. matches which I wish they kind of bring back. Not same match, but that concept of it. I, I do like. I, I like. I like that idea. Yeah, yeah it was a good yeah. idea. Yeah. but um. But uh, you know, now, uh, now they, if they bring that back now, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be good. No. It's, I mean, no, you have to. Build, it's. I totally is, agree. Cause you this, have to build up to a robbery for that, and there is. Yeah. And even if they did. Time. That's what I'm saying. Because let's say they do the basics of regular wrestling match, uh, no holds bars cage match. One of them matches mm. is going to be like five minutes. <laughs> yeah. It's going to get to the cage. It's not going to be as, it won't be Stone Cold Triple H style like that. No, yeah. So um, I, I enjoyed that match. Uh, I thought it was wonderful. Uh, of course, I love Sean and Triple H. Always been my favorites. And I just want to throw in, I think life is funny. Because Jim Cornette talked about this. Is that back in the day, it was Sean and Triple H was basically friend, but the underling. Because Sean was the man. Now you fast forward to now, the, the roles just switched. And it's just funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's just, I, I, triple I, I think that a lot when I watch old... Uh... Like 97, 98 DX of how just real life situations have completely swapped for him. Yeah, because exactly. If, exactly. Because if also if you like if you watch two thousand six and going up DX, it's clearly if you if you want to like name a team captain, it's Triple H. It's mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's probably Sean, wasn't Sean the big is the sidekick. Yeah, yeah. He, he was the comic relief. It's uh, not. Even, <laughs> I would yeah. say, yeah, yeah. Not but no, I would not say, comic relief, yeah. but he was. The I would say, I would say, he's like, of. he's like the Leeds best friend. That's. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. That's, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So. Um. Thank you for joining us on the Alpha Mucho Driving. If you liked that video, please click like. And subscribe to our channel for more content from the drive-in. For full episodes of our podcast, you may look us up on Anchor, Spotify, or wherever your favorite podcasts are available. Just search for Outlaw Much Show Drive-In. And if it's not too much trouble, would you help us out here? Spread the word. Share. We would really appreciate it.
Thank you. We love you. Bye.